Greetings, and Sirettes, and welcome back to Creativeverse with me, Lathrix. Yes, indeed, we are going to be making a little series on this, which will run twice a week, hopefully. Oh, hello, Pigu, whatever your name actually is. Pigsy! Yes, that's it. Yes, indeed, we are going to be making a series out of this. I enjoyed the game so much, I went and played at least another hour after recording that little first look. And the response from you guys was very, very positive. So naturally, here I am again on yet another new world. But one major thing has changed, and it is a big, big thing. Nothing to do with the developers, nothing to do with an update. I have got my new computer. The new computer is on. I am on maximum settings at 120 FPS. <laughs> it is probably the best feeling I've ever had. Ooh, a cave. Ooh, evil crabs. Good, this is where I'll stop camp somewhere. One second, I'll turn the sound down a little bit. And there's my, um, server. Uh, that's better. Okay, just a little bit up. It's amazing how much a li little change can make when you're recording. Okay, that's better. I can actually hear this now over the sound of my own reverbed voice. So, yes, another new world. And the reason is... I did actually get a little bit far in the world which I was using on the um, video, so I would like to start again with you guys. This will be quite an unedited version. Um, videos after the second one most likely will become far more edited. As you can see, I'm kind of doing everything in, in autopilot. It's like Minecraft. Once you know what you're doing at the start, you can pretty much just run around doing exactly what you want. Now, there's a mushroom there. And the reason why, why I do collect mushrooms very early on is because... Quite frankly, the things in this game scare the living crap. Ooh, is that coal? Oh, yes, I already found coal. I found a big issue finding coal the first few nights, so I am going to start maybe around here on this little peak and use that cave as my natural mining thing. Ooh, yeah, you red. Okay, I'm going to need red flowers soon as well, so if I see those, I need to get them. Okay, let's get back to actually do... Ooh, hello. Oh, you're so cute, Leafies. Oh, I am planning to trap one of those. I need to trap one. I'm also trying to find some moss. Sadly, none of the trees have went past so far. I've got them. Also, vines. So, sadly, I can't stay up here just yet. Okay. I don't like a one little... I'm not sure if it's a bug or just how it works, but um, the music stops until you go into the menu, in which case I'm just messing around with it, and then it'll instantly come back again. It's fine. There we go, very quietly in the background. I'm not sure how well that's doing. Um, new computer, completely new settings. Had to redo a lot of the stuff. Also, I've just realised how stupid I'm being with doing that. Now I can't climb up properly. I wish you going to leave a big dead tree. Big problem with trees in this game. The, tr the leaves don't decay. Oh, it's so irritating. Uh, for someone like me, that is just the worst thing. I think I'm going to have to just... Make it into a floating tree canopy for now, and then I'll dig it with dirt later on when I've got some more resources. But for now, that is so much wood, it's brilliant. Okay. Definitely want to take a sword as well, which is going to be a bone. So if, so if I see a pig, I'm going to have to kill it. Oh god, there's pigs everywhere. Now I'm going to have to kill them. The combat in this game, I am yet to... Ma Ooh. He feared me so much, he disappeared. Excellent. A good start, a good start indeed. Hello, pigsy. Oh, you're attacking the wrong way. That's good for me. Ow. Okay. There we go. Now he's running, so he should die. Excellent. Please give me a bone. Ah! The pigsy was devoid of bones. How did you survive, and how was you considered a vertebrate? I don't know. Okay, that tree there is where I want to build. It's quite a nice beacon of... You should be coming back here. So I will. Um, what do I actually need, then, for the stone core? I think I've got most of the stuff. Stone core. I need vines. Yes, indeed. That's why I was upset over there. Uh, that tree over there, see? Oh, it does have vines. Excellent. The cragwood tree over there does seem to have vines. Just make sure to get the um, red flowers as well. Turns out red flowers are used to make health potions, which are much better than the mushrooms. And in this game, maybe it's just me because I'm terrible at this sort of thing, but I die very easily in this game. I find the creatures are a real threat to you, which I quite like, actually. I would rather be killed often than never killed, which is pretty much the case in Minecraft. So I'm very happy with this. I need to stop comparing it to Minecraft, but I just can't because I know other people will. So if I don't say it now, other people will say it in the comments and I'll be really upset. Because I know I should have said that. Okay, let's get the vines. Oh, I have saplings. Yay. Let's have a quick look at them. Saplings. Okay, I only need one vine, but I think I'll just go ahead and grab them all because I will be using them later on to like twine and stuff. 
And yes, I'm doing the same thing again to this poor tree, but I'll leave it here so I can climb up it if I need to. Ooh. Another, another thing I do need to find quickly, beeswax. I have found it in my other game. I know I seem confused in the last video, but I now know where it is. It is randomly in the um, leaves of trees. And generally, it's quite visible, so it's not like um, you have to jump up the tree every time to go find it. It's quite visible, but not too, too common. Actually, I think I see it there. Is that, yep, yeah, that's actually right, that's it right there. A good start, I find. A nice cave, um, a big tree to kill. A nice biome, I'm quite happy with the biome, actually. Uh, it's a bit plain. I did find a really lovely one on the other server, but I think for now this is probably the best place to be. Nice, open, lots of mini cave systems, and not too, too, um, waterborne, so it's not like huge areas which I won't be able to exploit in the future. Ah, the running system. It's so bizarre to run out of fuel. Oh, hello, Big Z. I'm also going to have to kill you because I do want that sword. Sorry, 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 I'm stuck on the wall. Sorry, no, don't hurt me. I just need, I need this. I'm sorry, I don't want to kill you. Ooh, I've never had one, I've never had one of those before. Okay, a crystal shard. What will that be used for? Who knows? Don't tell me in the comments below, by the way. I want to find out for myself later on. I do love the crafting in this game. Uh, finding out you can do new things is very, very fun. Uh, okay, so I can grab these mushrooms as well, because mushrooms are great. Mushrooms are healing, at minimum. Which, uh, like I say, I die quite a lot, so yeah, healing is pretty darn cool. Just grab some dirt, not some grass. Okay, let's go back over to the floaty tree of death, and near the cave of death, on the hill of doom. Oh, isn't that a nice little place there, though? Ah, I might build over there, then. So I do need a... Ooh, mushrooms. I do need a crafting table. Where's the closest... Cr oh, oh, I ran past one, didn't I, on the way back here. Derp. Is anyone nearby, though, so I have to run away back again? I can see it from here. It's mocking me. Hello, crafting table. Crafting table, crafting table. Will you please show yourselves? Aha, a crafting table. Excellent. I will build the most beautiful stone core in all the land, and it will be my stone core, and it will be the best stone core ever. Hello, crafting table. Worship me. Okay, there we go. Crafting table is being built. Aha, I can now do stone, which is wonderful. Ah, there you go. Basic health potion is three flowers. Ah, ah the stone. Ah, the sword, though. The sword is more important to me. I need some stone now. Okay, so let's, let's equip our lovely stone power cell and our new sword. And actually, let's get our house going. Um, for now, I'll just shove it down here. No, I won't, because I can move this. Haha. Uh -huh. I want it over there. Although there's a huge cave over here, I think I'll make it a separate thing. And I want my house on that awesome little mini. Ow! Is that just me jumping too far? That seems like it's just me jumping too far. Yes, indeed, because I'm a fickle person, I now wish to have my house over here. Because, ooh, look at that, though, that cave. Oh, that, oh, no, it's filling it. No, don't load in. Oh, why do you have to ruin this for me, game? That would have been beautiful. I like it here. It's a bit out in the open, but if you flatten this little place here, it would be very nice. But I do think being by the cave might be better just for now, because we're going to be in there so, so often. Oh, this is such a nice place, though. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a fish by its tail. Uh, if it blubs, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It is not you. Okay, we're going back. <laughs> I am a genius of calculating and deciding things for tactical benefits. Hello, Stone. You tell us early in the morning that I've got far too much caffeine. You probably can, because normally I'm very sober. Okay, lots of stone, some fossils. I want to make a fossil house. I'm actually going to make a fossil house at some stage. I'll have, a, have the walls or the floor made out of fossil. I'll probably also build inside the cave for now if I can, because it's so much easier to build in than build out in this game. That's, that's the one weakness of this game I found so far. I could be very wrong in the future, but right now I find that building is a bit of a chore and not a particularly easy one at that. So yeah, not a sort of basic building block making all the slopes and stuff seems to be a bit difficult. Again, maybe it's just me not quite knowing the game, it's very likely. But for now, it does make me a little bit apprehensive about building outside of things. Okay, there we go. 
This game looks so much better in the high settings. I mean, some games look like, oh yeah, everything's been upgraded. This game really, really comes to life when you've upgraded the settings. Um, low settings, it just doesn't feel anywhere near as nice. So I'm very, very pleased with this. Did you mention I've actually fell in love with this game? I think I actually have. Oh dear, where is the... Pad of dead... Is that it? Oh, I can't... Oh, these trees here made it look completely different to me. Okay, so we have moss torch. No, we have the ability to make moss torches. Let's build them first before we go in because we are going to need them so soon. Ha! Ha ha! Okay, let's see. We need a few of these. In fact, let's make all of them we can. Ding, ding. While that's going on, I'm going to go and kill that poor little leaf creature who I don't think actually fight back. No, they run away, which is really sad because I think this is the cutest creature in the game, personally. And it's so sad, but. Yeah, the sinew and the leather is so good. Getting some armor now would be so nice. It would mean I wouldn't die on camera, which would make me a very happy Lathrix. Obey the sword. Excellent. Some more bones, some sinew, no leather. I'm not killing that crab because the crabs are freaking beasts. And grab that. Sinew, wood rod, twine. Oh, actually, I have all that in my... Almost all of that. Okay, let's grab that again. And let's go on our adventure. Oh, take out a sword instantly. I need to put it back because I found some mushrooms. Okay, so there's the coal. That's really good. Let's see. Oh, is this a dead end? Ah, oh, darn. I, hope it was, I was hoping it was a dead end. We could put a floor in there. Let's see. Where, if I was building in a cave, which side would be best? Ooh, falling. Um, ah, both of them drop really, really far. That lighting effect is very nice. Let's put it on crouch. That is absolutely terrifying. Um, I think this little hole here could be very nice very easily. So I think this is going to be our first hutty home. So I need to just fill in the, the roof. So let's just um, let's get some stuff sorted. We actually have beeswax. So we can actually make a door. So for now, let's just fill ourselves in and we can begin the crafting rituals. Which um, praise the Dark Lords, of course. Let me just grab all these. I love the ability to grab blocks and it's that little shake they do. Sorry, I'm gushing at the moment. I'm in a really good mood today. Uh, I was in a pretty foul mood recently. Uh, my mood's been lifted again and now I'm saying everything is the best thing in the world. Um, let's see now. How am I going to do this? I think this height would be okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just fill it in as much as I can because creatures jump so darn high in this game. Making like a two high wall or three high wall just doesn't do anything. Not that I was killed by a, by a Maru on the second night, of course, which are creepy as hell, by the way, particularly at night. Let's just do this. Ah, nope. Being on top would make this easier, but I'm going to build from the inside, like a, some form of d d deformed mole creature, so it would be best if I were just staying here, in my little safe haven. A safe haven, that's what you'll call this episode. This episode will be shorter than the rest, by the way, because I have to go somewhat soon. But I will be making more episodes in short succession for the first few episodes, and I'll be slowing down. Um, if you haven't already, because I know a lot of people do before the end of the video, God bless you. Um, I wish, I hope, you will comment on your opinions, negative or positive, on the series. It won't, re it won't really be replacing Robocraft any other series, so don't you worry about that being a factor. But I do intend on doing it sub-weekly. Sub-weekly? Uh, weekly, rather. One or two a week when it finally gets going, because there's so much crafting involved. I can't be making a video every day. Of course, early on you can. It's so easy just to go, look at me surviving the first night. Because that is pretty much what I'm doing. I'd like to see the night, but... For now, complete darkness is our only friend. Also, really need to make coal torches. So, if I can make an extractor soon, I would be so happy. Because these torches are rubbish. They take up all your space. I'm going to leave that. I like the best look down there. Like, look, there's an enemy. So, this is our little safe haven. It's not much to look at, I admit. But it is home for now. We could start smoothing out things like making flat walls would be very nice, it must be said. Give me the torch. Oh, yeah, a bug I found. If the devs are still watching my videos. <laughs> It's very easy to make torches float in this game. It's like you don't even need to do anything special. Let's see, can I? Put, nah, I can't put things behind it again. Which is fairly cool. I admit that it is fairly cool, but at the same time, 
is a little bit annoying when you're trying to get rid of an area quickly. I think it's something to do with entities not being a thing in this game, like things not dropping because saplings don't actually drop. Oh god, I can't do limestone yet. Well, this is an, an, an annoyance. Okay, let's put down our crafting table then. Let's do some basic crafting and our home bit can be put on the limestone of death. Okay, let's put a torch over here so we can see what we're doing. Okay, we definitely need the processor first. Processor comes first. That's a necessary thing right now. Uh, it's already in my inventory thing. Let's put it over here. Okay, processor. Can you process? What do I need for processing? I need the stone power core. So I need stone slabs and stone by a lot. So let's clear out some more space. Try to make everything flat. If we can. So we have some more flat surfaces so it isn't as cavey looking, if you know what I'm... That's a weird little bit of light then. Did you see that? Hmm. Okay, let's do this. How much stone do I have? Uh, of course, I need it, it, like slabs as well. Th was it six slabs? I think it was six slabs. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm correct. Who knows? Okay, well, that'll be enough regardless. So let's put in our... Nope, you can't do it because it's on the quick bar. That is a very annoying thing, which I've heard is being fixed. So one makes two. One, two, three. Oh, screw it. Let's do the whole thing. Because that'll take some time, so we can grab some more stone and continue to clear up this horrible, horrible space. Uh, it looks kind of tiered at the moment. Um, I think what we should do is actually move this one down. Back in the corner you go. And then this can be like the living kind of um, level, I guess. With that being our shrine. Oh, God. Uh, oh, lovely gods of whatever you are. Praise us, creative us gods. Of course, would pretty much be the devs. Creative us devs, hear my plea! I don't know what I'm pleading for right now, I'm pleading for something. That should give me enough. Yes! Excellent! Give me that stone power cord. I'm so glad I didn't make that potion now. Collect items and. Boom! Happy days. Okay, extractor. We need this for coal. I think that'll be the next episode, though. Let's continue to prettify the house just for now. Actually, can we make a door? I need for door. I'm missing wood rods, stone rods, and wood slabs. I will definitely be making this now. Then, oops, come hither. Okay, so we definitely need a lot of slabs. Uh, this wood is less used. Let's completely change that. Can't cancel, which I don't like as well. That's my own preference. I wonder if it's daytime or nighttime yet. What kind of stone is that? Oh, it's so pretty. Just regular. St oh, it's just stone just like that on the top. Oh, okay. Okay. So dig through until we find daylight. Oop, can't get in this hole. Let's just dig through until we find daylight or nightlight. As the case may be. I think I may have to go up a little bit, which is a bit of a meh, but oh well. Now I should. There we go. There's night. Pretty skylight is pretty. Okay, where is that coal? I just want to pinpoint where the coal actually is. So we can grab it as soon as possible. Oh, it's right there. Okay, how are we going to do the door then, if it's so low like this? I think... Hmm... I don't know, actually. I think we may have dug a bit too greedily and a bit too deep to make this pretty easily. Um, well, sir and sirettes, my beautiful people, the people whom I love and adore, uh, I think I'm going to be calling it here, however. Ooh! Maybe kind of just like going through there and I'll have a door coming out like the side of this. That's what I think we'll do. Well, I'm going to call it here. I won't be doing much off camera as I'll be recording a new episode almost instantly. Please tell me how you feel about the series in the comments below. I really, really, really would appreciate some feedback right now. Um, and like, etc. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And have a nice day. Have a nice week and possibly even a nice month and a nice year. If you can. And I'll see you next time I can make an extractor!